um, experience in the field, I think, is always very important. And uh, I guess experience in whatever you, you need, whether it's hiring or expanding mm. or... Mm. Yeah, perhaps product, you know, if, you know, depending on you know, what, what your bottleneck is, I guess, that, that's one way of thinking it depends about it. Depends on it, you can. Interesting, because I've come from a product world, it can be quite dangerous to have somebody on the board who's a product expert, because, again, they don't, they don't know it. If you're a product leader, the chances are of you knowing exactly what's needed in that organisation at that time is quite challenging. Some advice I can give you for your board members is many of them haven't been on non-exec board training courses. <laughs> so the um, Institute of Directors in the UK offer them, Financial Times <laughs> offers them as well. Is those courses are actually really, really good for non-exec members. They teach them how to be aware of their own biases and their own situations. So some of those training courses are great. If your um, non-execs have not been on them, tell them to go on a training course because it can help them get there. The other strong piece of advice I've got as well is, is to get a good chairman or chairperson. Having a good chairperson can help understand and, and guide that process for you a little bit more as well. Um, I know a couple of good chair people, if you're interested, who I can suggest, but they can also help steer those board meetings in the right direction and help you find non-execs as well. So a good chairperson will know not only the experience that you need, but the right kinds of character that you need to match the rest of your board. Because again, character matching is also really extremely important <coughs> too. So getting the right chairperson involved can also be extremely yes, useful Yes, on, on too. that point, I, actually we quite often look for someone who can be a mentor for the CEO, so yeah, especially early days, I think it's very mm -hmm. important. So less of the industry experience uh, than, um, yeah, interpersonal skills. No, I love that, like a board man <coughs> mentor is a really good idea, because again, if you're, an ex if you're in a large corporation, you've got a lot of board experience, that stuff's incredibly useful if you've never been there before. That's really good advice, I love that.